This is the solution video of Cambridge International A level exam 9709 A level pure math uh, exam is paper 31 of winter 2013 question is number 3 find the exact value of this integration with limits 1 and Four. Okay, so we'll take care of 1 and 4 later. Let's focus on the main integration first. Can I write like this? 1 over square root x multiplied by lin x dx. Why did I separate this? So that I can use integration by parts. For integration by parts, we should know this product rule. If two functions are multiplying and we are Differentiating it, we differentiate one of the functions first, then the one which is multiplying, but we don't we don't dif differentiate it. Plus, second time the first function is untouched, but second one is differentiated. Now we have to follow a rule called Liat. L I A T E. In integration by parts this has a big role we should differentiate the one which is on top here in our question we have one part as log and one algebraic expression or function so log is here and algebraic is here that means we have to differentiate the log part so we should choose the one which is without prime as this one which is log okay so this is v and this is u prime that means this is our question so we'll leave it here u prime v equal to u v prime minus u v prime i brought this part to the right, left side and it became a negative and now we will integrate all three So now this is a prime means differentiation. This is an integration. They cancel out. So we are left with uv minus uv prime. We will not touch. But this, if you see here, is our question. So if we want to integrate this, we have to write solution as the left side. So first we should write u and v. v is with us, no problem. But u is not with us. We have u prime. So let's integrate u prime to get u. So if we integrate 1 over square root x, it can be written as, and dx, it can be written as x to the power minus half dx. Correct? And now if I integrate this one, we get uh, x to the power minus half plus 1 over minus half plus 1. So that becomes x to the power minus half plus 1 is positive half, right? Over positive half. So we'll write only 1 here, but 2 will be here. So it becomes 2 square root x is the integration of 1 over square root x so we got u as well so this was our first thing needed so we have u with us now 2 square root x v was already with us here lin x minus integration of u u is we just got it 2 square root x here 2 square root x v prime is known to us no not known to us v is known to us. this is v we have to differentiate lin x and if uh, let me do it somewhere else if v is lin x so v prime will be 1 over x that is the differentiation of lin x so since we need v prime here in this one we need v prime here so we will write 1 over x dx and that will be equal to our question which is this one okay so everything is ready with us now let's do it now 
2 square root x, so let me separate this part, 2 square root x lin x is finalized, but here minus 2 and this can cancel, right? Square root x and x cancel, so we'll have square root x here now. So 2 is outside because it's a constant, I will not touch it, but I'm left with 1 over square root x dx. And we already integrated 1 over square root x in this where we got 2 square root x. So it becomes 2 square root x lin x minus 2 times and now again integration is 2 square root x. And obviously we have to write finally c. So it becomes 2 square root x lin x minus 4 square root x plus c. And if you remember we ignored the numbers which were the limits for the integration were 1 and 4, okay. So let's write 1 and 4 and finally write our answer. So we'll substitute 1 and 4 by 1 by 1. 2 square root 4 lin 4 minus 4 square root 4 plus c. This is after substituting 4 minus, let me write minus here, let's substitute 1. 2 square root 1 lin 1 minus 4 square root 1 plus c. Okay, first thing c is cancelled. So 2 square root 4 is 2, so 2 times 2 is 4 lin 4, 4 lin 4 minus 4 times 2 will be 8 and c is not there. Now this minus 2 times square root 1 will be 2 and lin 1, okay, lin log of 1 is always 0, no matter what is the base, so 0. This negative and this negative will be positive, 4 times 1, square root 1, 4, yeah, 4, positive 4 and nothing else, alright. So finally it will be 4 lin 4 minus 8 plus 4 minus 4. So we can take 4 common, lin 4 minus 1. That is the solution of this question.